in the Asia-Pacific theater. Rear Admiral Takajiro Onishi of the Imperial Japanese Navy advised that the overwhelmingly superior Allied fleet air defense, along with Japan's shortage of aircraft and fuel, was preventing effective Japanese airstrikes. As an alternative, Onishi proposed what were officially termed special attack units. Unofficially, they were called Divine Wind, kamikaze. The special attack units are what we call kamikaze units in the US, but their official name was special attack units. The use of special attack tactics, especially a tactic called body crashing, taiatari, which is a term from Japanese fencing where you rush into your opponent with your full body. Discussions of that tactic began to take place in the spring of 1944. There's much speculation on when the first actual kamikaze attack occurred, but the first organized kamikaze attacks were against American escort carriers. These are small carriers that are supporting the amphibious invasion in Leyte Gulf. And during the course of a day, several of these small escort carriers were attacked by organized kamikaze attacks. And one of them, the USS St. Lowe, was sunk on that day. Anything that could fly to a target could be converted into a kamikaze machine. The Japanese built high-speed flying bombs, easily stored and quickly manufactured. But there was one type specifically designed for the suicide mission. The Yokosuka MXY-7 Oka was a single-seat, human-guided, rocket-propelled, 1,200-kilogram semi-armor-piercing missile designed to take its pilot on a one-way journey. The name Oka means cherry blossom. It was also known as the Jinrai, or divine thunderbolt. The Allies named it the Baka, or idiot bomb. The Oka had short wooden wings and no landing gear. It could achieve 1,013 kilometers per hour and was powered by three Type 4 Model 1 Mark 20 solid fuel rocket motors. Once launched from its G4M mothership, 18 kilometers from target, the pilot fired the rocket in bursts in a shallow dive until within range, and then guided it into a deep dive. The Oka was too fast for air defenses and was virtually unstoppable. 600 volunteers were recruited from the call-up for Oka special attack duties in August 1944. Top brass in the Imperial Japanese Navy exhorted the Oka pilots in the Cherry Blossom Squadrons, as they were known, to attack the enemy with superior spiritual force, promising they would turn the tide of the war. They had little choice. Their aircraft and their pilots could not compete against the Americans. Their military philosophy favored death rather than surrender and dishonor. Using kamikazes, in effect, as bombs was thought to be more efficient in sinking American ships, particularly carriers. The first batch of 50 Okas was dispatched for the Philippines aboard the newly commissioned Shinano aircraft carrier on the 28th of November, 1944. But while still in Japanese coastal waters, the Shinano was torpedoed by the USS Archerfish, rolled over and sunk. A few months later, from the 18th to the 20th of March, 1945, US Task Group 58 led by Rear Admiral J.J. Clark, attacked Kyushu airfield. 
and the combined fleet at Kure in the Inland Sea. Vice Admiral Matome Ogaki ordered a counterattack with 18 G4 M2E Bettys slung with Okas and A6 M50 escorts. Grumman F6F fighters scrambled to intercept. The Oka pilots never had the chance to enter their weapons. 